Good morning guys, welcome to Supercars of London, welcome to a bright and early start in Cheshire. I'm a stone's throw away from Alton Park and I'm in the Revere Range Rover HSR 650. But today it is all about BMW, so ignore that car. Today I have been invited up here by BMW for their M Power driving experience morning. So hopefully I can get to grips with the M2, M3, M4 and potentially the M6. So a wide variety from the M Power range. However, it does not stop at lunchtime. I'm headed back down towards Watford and then in the evening going to be collecting my BMW M3 which has been recently at Dub Customs getting rewrapped. So this morning is very important to me because essentially I get to learn how to drive my car or understand how my car handles in closed and safe environments. Rather than having to take my M3 to the racetrack or back to the airfield, I'm going to be doing it all under the supervision with trained specialists and racing drivers that are going to be there to help me understand my M3, the balance of it, the power delivery of it and how it handles on a race circuit. So let's head out of the hotel car park, get down to Alton Park and uh, see what is in store for this morning. Activity number one, not even 9am and we are on the handling circuit. So they have dampened various elements of this track within the paddock. Over here you can see a car is getting ready to go and we are setting lap times or we are setting time attacks on this circuit. And this element is all about finding the limits of the cars, understanding how these cars handle, which is perfect for the first activity. And they are in BMW M3s, which hopefully I should be quite used to. So I'm going to jump in that white car over there. I'm pretty sure it is the new facelifted BMW M3 and then I'm going to get myself out here onto the handling circuit. me are MSV prepared race spec BMW M4s and we are now going to get to grips with Alton Park using the video box track telemetry style system. We've all been given USBs where we will be able to analyse the data and hopefully improve our times over the two sessions that we've got. First is track sighting so we get to understand the racing line and uh, as all of the cars drive off uh, they're going to be learning the racing line, coming back, looking at their track telemetry and video data and then going back and trying to uh, beat their previous lap time and see who is the most improved. So having gone from the handling to this, I feel is the proper order because we've understood the limits of the car and hopefully we won't be pushing them too much to the limits and ending up in barriers, but uh, well, never say never. Just have a little lift on the way in to settle it down, right here, squeeze the brake off the brake, turn in, off the gas again, you're going to run out. You've got to get a better line there. Yeah. And use all the road on the yeah, way out. Yeah. You're turning too late there before. Yeah. I'm being a bit pernickety because it's obvious that you've, you've done stuff. Head for the... That's right. Moving to the left. So, you turn in there, 
there gently, you make that a straight line so you're on the left, squeeze the brake, off the brake, turn that much, add the gas, add the gas, uh, add the gas, okay. and then see the exit yeah. you've got. Yeah. You've got to make it to a long yeah. curve rather than a corner. You make it look so you're easy trying to make it to a corner. <laughs> yeah. I've never driven a track like this. This is just up and down and blind. Aim for the tree, like it's still in my head. I'm just like, why are we aiming for a tree on a race circuit? Honestly, I was like four or five laps. I really felt like I was improving. What, what did you learn from the data? They just had more bottle. The lines were quite good, but I was just losing speed on the straights. Yeah. Squeeze the brake. Off the brake. Brilliant, brilliant. Add, it, add the steering, add the gas. So it feels slow, but it's yeah. so much quicker. Yeah. It's good. Is that cliche smooth is fast? Yeah. It is. Slow in, quick out. Two cliches and two corners. Well done. That's decent. Slow it out. Get out. That's all I want to know. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's significantly faster. 17.49. Oh, 17. 17. Oh, 10 seconds. 10 seconds. Oh, that's, that's see what you do from uh, being smooth. You're, yeah. you're sat there going slow. Yeah, but it's quicker. Well, you can tell it's quicker when you've got to brake so much more at the end of the straights. Yeah. If you quick out the corner, yeah. Consequently, you're quicker down the straight. Yeah. So I've just jumped out from analysis round two from the track telemetry and video box analysis of my lap times oh, <laughs> in the M4 MSV track car. And uh, I got 11 seconds quicker from round one to round two. My first quickest lap time was a 128. Second was a 117. So I am uh, so I'm pretty impressed and pretty happy with myself for achieving those sorts of times around there. Now we're headed on to the BMW product cars, M2, M4, and M6. Now this is the part of the day where we can, we can start to calm down a little bit. And I also know that Sam is focusing his video around the BMW M2 in this section of the video. So I'm not gonna film, but head over to Sam's channel if you do want to see what the M4, M6, and uh, M2 is like to drive around the track. I've driven all of these cars, so I just wanted to preserve the battery because I've got an all day filming today. Lunch is in a little bit. So I'm gonna quickly drive these cars, head over to lunch, and then round the day off, and then start the three hour journey back towards London. So very awkwardly, but also, I'm actually really pleased with myself that I won the BMW award for most improved driver from today. <laughs> which like on like a school sports day back in the day it was probably not the best award to win but that was the only award that, bit that we were giving out today and I won because I was scared of Alton Park when I arrived but I felt like I got closer and closer to at least understanding the ups downs the bends the corners and the cars so I, I'm, I'm, I'm quite pleased with myself uh, I'm secretly secretly quite impressed but now uh, is a three hour drive back down towards Watford. And this is Monday. I'm hoping this video goes live on Tuesday, but I don't think I've got time to drop this car off at Artec and then try and find a lift to get me over to Dub Customs to pick up my BMW M3. So I will continue filming hopefully find a lift that takes me to dub customs within the next 24 hours and put it in this section of the video so you get to see the collection of my bmw m3 so that i can continue the bmw themed video bmw themed video 24 hours later we have made it to dub customs for me to collect my bmw m3 it has been wrapped in an Avery material. Avery is the same company that I use for the satin black chrome and also for the white and gold stripe on my Lamborghini and also the PPF. Um, it is Avery Roaring Thunder. It is part of their color 
flow char and it's quite a new range which is why I'm a little bit excited about it and my material is called Roaring Thunder which I thought was the perfect name for my BMW which now isn't nuke spec it is not all blacked out the satin black is gone the winter color is finished I wanted to do something a little bit more bright and colorful for the summer months that are coming up so let's head inside and pick up my Roaring Thunder BMW M3 right I think I can see it. Archie's already gone in. I held back because I wanted to film it for the first time, but... Oh my God. <laughs> Guys, this is, the most, this is the most ridiculous M3 I've ever seen. Look at this. Your words on my mind, they keep me warm. So where we are still one, so where we are still one. literally do not know what to say satin black forget satin black roaring thunder is the new perfect color for the bmw m3 so we're now going to get the number plates on head outside and then well that is it that is the end of the video make sure that you're tuning in to the next video which is more of a vlog about spending the day with archie checking out his corvette seeing this car on the road and driving it for the first time on the road getting it outside and uh, yeah, me and Archie just hanging out today. We're going to play some Top Golf later. So definitely make sure that you're tuning in for that vlog. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you very soon. Cheers, guys.